Hey guys, in this video I am checking out something new and different. This is a first for me. It is a 360 camera from Insta360. This is the One X. Now they reached out to me back in January. I really didn't have a whole lot of interest in reviewing it, but then a buddy of mine showed me some really cool 360 shots and then I was like, I have to review it. So I reached back out to them about two months ago and I've been playing around with this little thing ever since. They actually sent me a bundle um, so let's check out how this thing comes packaged and then let's get into the review. Here is the box that this camera comes in. As you can see, very nice packaging, a lot of specs on the side, some pictures, samples on the back, and then more specs on this side. So let's cut this thing open. And then this just slides off. That's what it looks like. Essentially you have two 180 degree lenses on either side. This is a nice and soft rubberized material. And then on this side you have a little screen and two buttons. And you have a micro USB tripod mount as well as a little micro SD card slot. Very nicely done. It's lightweight, but it doesn't feel cheap at all. Let's see, we have a battery here and then you have that little cable and then the little tripod to screw onto the bottom. All right, so you got quite a bit of stuff here. Protective pouch, documents. It's nice that everything is labeled. There's a couple of Insta360 stickers, cable for iPhone and Android. And then the last box says connect to your computer, probably just a USB cable. And indeed it is. So that is everything that comes with it. A lot of cool extra stuff. And again, here is the little 360 camera. This is about two months later after using it for a fair amount of time. You can see that the coating is still in great shape overall condition of this thing is really good and solid. So um, quite a nice piece of equipment and it feels, doesn't feel very cheap. It feels small and lightweight, but it feels like it's made well. The way that I typically carry this little camera around is with the included pouch. So I just slide it in like so and then put this around my neck and then you can walk around. So using this camera is a little bit different. You don't have to carry around much gear at all. So just like I showed you, I would typically put this in the pouch, uh, put this around my neck. The only cable that I took with me is the one that adapts this camera to my iPhone so that way I can transfer the videos and photos quickly. And then I'd carry around this included bullet time selfie stick. And using those few things and some free software from Insta360, I was able to get these sample videos. Here we go.
So that is it for the sample videos. This thing is really cool and unique. And every single person that I've shown footage to from this 360 camera has just walked away saying, wow. So let's talk about the specs on this little camera first, and then I'll go into my thoughts. So first and foremost, this little camera is shooting at above 4K. It's actually 5.7K, as you guys probably saw on the box. So it's a very high resolution image that you're getting, obviously, in 360. I found that the overall video was very sharp and good, but it's not not going to give you DSLR like performance in 360 degrees because of the small size you can expect a slight reduction in optical quality because the lens elements are significantly smaller. Now this camera has what's called flow state stabilization which is just a digital form of stabilization. Now using it on the selfie stick I've noticed that there were a couple of moments where I was passing it to someone else or possibly moving it quickly where you saw a little bit of shutter and it creates a very blurry kind of effect. But for the most part if you are trying to be somewhat stable and even if you're running the images look really really smooth. So those samples that you saw, again, no post-processing correction or anything like that. That's just using the built-in stabilization on this little camera. At 5.7K, this camera does 30 frames per second. That's what I used for all of my sample shots. If you drop down the image quality to 4K, it does 50 frames per second. And if you drop it down to 3K, it'll do 100 frames per second. And as part of that, there is a slow-mo mode on this camera as well that works very well. While on the topic of image quality, this little camera also has HDR built in and you could shoot with a flat color profile and color grade it afterwards if you like. I didn't use that because color correcting takes way too much time. All right, so the image quality is very good for a device of this size. It's very stable. It has great resolution, great frame rates. But what really sets this little camera apart is how easy it is to use. Now this is my first 360 camera. I thought it was going to be a pain to use, but setting it up and using it and editing it and everything in between has been super straightforward. I really haven't even watched any of the tutorials. It has been very intuitive. From the beginning, when you put this on your selfie stick, this little camera crops out the stick. So when you are holding, it in front of you like this, no one can see this part of your camera at all. And using it out in public, no one really takes a second look at this camera because no one has any idea what it is that this little thing is. It looks like some sort of walking stick that you're just pointing up in the air with something on the end of it. So you can walk into places and unlike carrying a large DSLR that attracts a lot of attention, this thing gets no attention whatsoever. Now let's get back to usability. The menu system on this is very simple. There are only two buttons. The first one is the power button. So you turn that on to power this camera on. And then you will also use it to go through the menu system. Now if I hit this power button again, not standby mode, it will switch over to video. You see the little video icon. It shows me that I have five minutes left. If I wanted to start recording, I just push the center button and the green light is on at the bottom, indicating that it is now recording. You can see the timer here and then stop recording. That is as easy as it gets. As far as settings, there are a couple of different options. Here you can see these are the camera settings. So if I hit the center button, that switches over to the video settings, and this is the Wi-Fi setting. Um, and then about info, all of that fun stuff. Bullet time, ISO, you can adjust it auto, shutter speed, fast, slow, whatever it is that you decide. Um, you could shoot with log, on or off, and then hit done at the very bottom. What really sets this camera apart is the included application for iPhone or Android, in addition to the free software that you can use on PC or Mac. You go to album, there are two tabs at the top, local and on the camera. If you connect the camera using the included USB to your phone, you'll see everything on the camera and you can copy each file over. So here are a couple of the video files and the photos that I've copied over. You can see that there are secondary tabs here, photo, video. Here's a sample of a photo. Um, and what's cool about this is just how you are able to move around. Now let's move over to videos. Same thing here. You can edit, you can export, you can do a whole bunch of fun stuff with video. So let's take a look at one of these videos. 
What's nice about the software here is as you're playing here, you can move the video around, which is different and unique. Um, but you can also switch modes here. So you can do 9 by 16, you can do 1 to 1, you can do um, 16 by 9, you can do um, kind of small world, let's see, there's 2.35 to 1. So there are a whole bunch of different aspect ratios if you are using this for more of a cinematic effect, but that's what it looks like as you are cropping it side to side. So it ends up being a really fun experience to watch back your videos because you can move around and see everything. Um, and that's not something that most folks are used to. What's great about the app as well is there is a tab at the bottom that is tutorials. So if you wanted to learn how to do time shift or roll planet or loop challenge, you could just click on the video and it takes you to a video tutorial on how to set up your camera and get this sort of shot which is really nice. I used Insta360's free video editing software on my PC to put together those sample videos that you just saw earlier, and it was relatively easy to use. The only small complaint is that splicing or cutting and then putting together video clips is not easy. So what I did was I edited all of my 3D footage on the free software and then imported all of those files into Premiere Pro and then put it together, spliced it up as necessary. And that was not too much of a hassle. What's also great about this camera is because it's so new, there are new accessories being released all the time for this. One of the most exciting ones is the Drifter, which is kind of like a Nerf football, but you put this little camera inside of it and so you can throw it and capture some impossible shots um, with that little setup. So I am excited to buy that accessory for this. It's just not in stock yet or hasn't been released yet. So what are the practical applications for a small 360 camera like this? Well, it could revolutionize the world of vlogging because you can literally vlog entirely with this little camera and this little stick and you never have to worry about composing a shot, focusing, changing your shot, whatever it is. You can literally walk around all day, record, the battery's going to run out, which I'm going to talk about, but record all day and then come home and edit all of your shots afterwards. Now let's talk about issues or shortcomings with this little camera. Number one is one that I've already mentioned, and that is the slight bit of shutter that you get on occasion if you are not keeping it perfectly steady. That is an issue that may be addressed with a firmware update, but to avoid the issue, just try not to shake it around too much. Number two is battery life. Don't expect a whole lot of battery life with this little camera because the battery is very small. Now you get about one hour of battery life with this little 1200 milliamp battery. The nice thing about this camera though is that because you have a micro USB connection on the side, what I did is when I was running low on battery, I just brought my little battery pack, connected it right up, and then I was able to charge on the go in between shoots. So if you need extra battery power, just buy a little cheap $20 power pack and you could charge this thing on the go. The third small issue that I've noticed with this camera is scratches on the screen. I don't know how well you are going to be able to see this, but there are small fine scratches on this screen. Not a huge issue. It doesn't prevent you from being able to see the menu system but just something that I noticed. The rest of the camera body stays relatively nice. This rubberized coating does a good job at preventing fingerprints and scratches. The fourth thing that I noticed about this camera is that the audio quality, as you would expect, is not amazing. Now, GoPro audio is not great either. Don't expect a whole lot with the built-in microphone on this little camera. If you are using it to vlog, you really sh probably should be using external audio recording. Here is just a quick sample of what the audio sounds like straight out of the camera. And the last small issue that I have with this camera is that the lenses here are prone to scratching. Right there, I don't know if you can notice it, but it's right kind of in the middle of the lens and it is a scratch because I can feel it with my nail. So that is unfortunate. I reached out to Insta360 and I asked them about it and they were super nice and responsive. Unfortunately, they said I would have to mail this over to them and they would replace the glass on the lens at a price of about $90, so pretty pricey. 
I do think that I will be able to polish that little scratch off with a Dremel and some compound. So it's not a huge ordeal, but be careful. If you buy one of these, you wanna make sure that you try to protect these lenses as much as possible. And I would recommend investing in a hard case. When you are using a 360 camera, the lenses are very important. You will notice a scratch like that affect your images and your videos. For those of you who are interested in photography and videography, you can't help but appreciate what this technology is doing and how seamlessly this technology is making impossible shots possible. Now I mentioned this in previous videos, Janessa and I are both real estate agents in the Austin area and we decided to try this little camera out and do a house tour and upload it to YouTube. Now what's really cool about this video that we uploaded is that it is a 360 video but it looks like it's 16 by 9. If you have an iPhone or a smartphone you can move around and you can take a tour of this house and you can see me there as I'm recording you can look at the kitchen, move around. And what's unique about this as well is you can move your phone or your iPad and that will allow you to look down, look up, look left and right. In fact, there's a mode that YouTube has where you click this button and you can experience this in VR. So this is something that is new and cool and it makes it seem like you are actually there looking around the house. If you guys wanna check out that video, I'll post that down below. So that is going to be it for my review of the Insta360 ONE X. It is a really cool piece of technology and if you're into 360 photography or videography or if you just want a really cool gadget that's going to impress your friends and family, then definitely check this out. I'll post links down below where you guys can purchase it. Um, so check those out. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all of your likes, comments, and support. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.